Hello everyone, welcome to the Temple of Possibilities. I am Minister William, or Reverend Will if you wish, leading today's sermon of October 29th, 2023. And as always, we'll start with a moment of silence for prayer, meditation, or what have you. All right, thank you. And to, I'm sorry that um, there was no sermon last week. As I posted on the uh, Facebook page, I was feeling a bit under the weather, so I took a, uh, six di- a sick day. But I am back. I feel much better. So, uh, today's sermon is called The Hundredth Monkey Effect, and is on alltimeshortstories.com. In the year 1980, Loyal Wilson was the first biologist to propose the theory of the 100th monkey effect in his book, Lifetide. He mentioned about a phenomenon that the Japanese promenologist discovered while studying the macaque monkey in the wild in the 1990s. The Japanese snow monkey, Makia Fu, sorry if I did mispronounce any of this, Fukata, was kept under observation for 30 years. In the year 1952, on the island of Koshima, a group of scientists provided a group of monkeys with sweet potatoes covered in sand. The monkeys liked the taste of sweet potatoes but found the dirt unpleasant. An 18-month-old female monkey found the solution. She washed the potatoes in a nearby stream and shared her discovery with her mother. She had also taught, taught it to her playmates who further showed it to their mothers. This cultural discovery was eventually being picked up, being picked up by many monkeys. At least such the observation gained by the scientist. Between 1952 to 1958, almost all the young monkeys had learned to wash the sandy sweet potatoes. Only the the adults who imitated their children learned the social improvement. Other adults continued to eat dirty sweet potatoes. When this starving phenomenon was observed, In 1958, a certain number of Kushima monkeys were washing sweet potatoes. Their exact number is not known. The assumption was that if at the dawn of a particular day, 99 monkeys knew about washing the potatoes, then by dusk, the same day, 100 monkeys knew. By that evening, almost everyone in the tribe was washing sweet potatoes before eating them. They added energy to this 100th monkey, somehow created an ideological breakthrough. Another experimentally fact observed and the thing, there's a thing in the thing. Right where I'm trying to read. Okay, uh, something, something. Many, uh, people watch this with potatoes. A hypothesis was then drawn. When a certain critical number of... Okay, another excellent fact observed by scientists was the journey of this knowledge overseas. Colonies of monkeys on their other islands and the mainland troop of monkeys at Takashi, Takashima, 
began washing their sweet potatoes too. The hypothesis was drawn when a certain critical number of activities and awareness. These new awareness can be communicated through mental energy. Although the exact number may vary, the 100th monkey phenomenon implies that when only a limited number of people know a new way, it may remain the conscious property of these people. But here lies a point over which even a single addition of a new awareness can signify strengthen the field of awareness to that extent that it is picked up by almost everyone within a short span of time. Moral. If you realized how powerful your thoughts are, you would never think a negative thought. Our thoughts are more powerful than we believe they are. Whether you're optimistic or pessimistic, you can actually make yourself succeed or fail just by how you think. And if you think positively and succeed, you can show others that they can do the same thing. There was a quote I heard one time goes, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. You never know what things that you think can change the world unless you try it. That is one of the main missions of this congregation. Because we want to change the world for, to be a better place. We want to unite everyone, regardless of what they believe, their gender, who they love. So bring together everyone, everyone that is good, and try not to let the bad destroy us. Well, hopefully soon, since it's a uh, Almost November is pulling down even more, and it's still very hot here. Uh, mostly hot. We have had a nice, a few nice days, but yeah. Remember, everyone, when we all come together, the possibilities are endless. Remember to think good thoughts, and try to improve the world with your thoughts. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.